So, who is the Bible for? Who is the Bible for? Yeah, is the Bible for everybody? Um, uh, in my knowledge, the Bible is for whoever, you know, take their time out to read and be into it. Mm -hmm. But when I read the Bible, there's certain things for me. I have a question, that's why I'm going to say who I'm in. It's a man question right about myself. Okay. So now, let's deal with your first point that you just made. You said that to your knowledge, the Bible for everybody, right? So let's get that. Get uh, John 1 47, verse 19. So let's deal with that first. Because what we are here to do, bro, we are here to make the Bible real. We are here to show you that this book is yours. Right. And no one else, that's what we are here to show you. Watch this. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me, just, let me just let me just answer your, uh, with your statement right quick, right? Read that. Psalm chapter 147. Verse 19, yeah. he showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob is these 12 tribes right here on this board. Come check yourself out. Where do you see yourself on that board? Whatever your father is, that's where what tribe you would be on. Because right here, if you, if you check it out, right here, this is what God, this is what God called. Right here is what our slave masters name, what they renamed. Right? So now, where do your father lay on this on this chart? Is he an African American? No, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm saying it's you. You know in your everyday life, your father is so called African American. Right, so you would be from the tribe of Judah. A mighty, mighty tribe. That's right. The same tribe that Christ was from. The same tribe that King Solomon was from. The same tribe that King David was from. Now just think about that. If I was this young man and I grew up knowing that I come from a lineage of kings, how would I conduct myself? Bring it out. Like a king. Right. I would make sure that people treated me like a king and I would conduct myself as a king. Right. right now, do we act like kings, the so called black men? No, we don't. Now, you might have certain brothers that's able to conduct themselves in that way, but overall, we don't act like kings. Why? Because we didn't know this. Read that. He showed his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes, and his judgment unto Israel. Amen. He has not dealt so with any nation. You said he has not dealt that way with any nation. Read. And as for his judgment. And as for him judging these people for not doing what he said. Read. They have not known them. They have what? They have not known them. Why didn't they go into slavery? They have not known them. Why didn't they pick cotton from sun up to sun down? As for his judgment, they have not known them. That's why. The Lord is not punishing us just for the hell of it. He's punishing us to wake the hell up. That's why he's punishing us, bro. And that's what we're trying to show you when you talk about that proof. Now, I want to ask you a look. First page of the Bible is created where? I don't get your, your, your question. The very first page of this book was created where? It was given to Moses by God. It had all the all listen, 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 listen. All the listen, listen. Written on the wall of Egypt. Listen, listen. Remember, the, it had already happened, but but Moses went up and got the family, and the Lord showed him all the himself, but he got it from the Lord. That's right. And now you know what's heavy about when people bring up Egypt, right? Yeah. Why people don't ever bring up Sumeria? Why bring people up. don't ever bring up Babylon? Bring These up. ancient empires were before the Egyptians. Yeah. The Egyptians got their gods from them. Yeah. So a lot of times what a lot of people like to do is they like to say this was before that, so it's more true or it's better. But Team Cleese was in the NBA before LeBron came. Would you ask me who the better player is? I would say LeBron James. So it's not about what came first, but it's about what's the best and what's going to give us that direction that we need. I hear you, but how you know you get getting taught the right stuff and it was written in Egypt and we don't even understand you? I'm going to show you how. Watch this. Give me two around you. I'm going to show you how, bro, and that's a good question. Hey, bro, that's a good question. That's, that, I'm, I guarantee you, this brother right here, this sister right here had the same question 
But as they allowed the men of the Lord to go into this Bible, those questions were answered. Yes, right. So have you ever, are you in Christianity right now? Do you, do you follow Christianity? Do you go to church? Okay, so did you ever go to church? So growing up, did church ever talk about the slave trade and why that happened? No. Oh, they just said, you know, pray to this pie in the sky, God. This wait, and things gonna get better. Everybody else, hey, they can live they heaven on earth. Y'all gotta wait till y'all die. It's just what it is. But the whole time the Lord said, when y'all change, that's when y'all have it coming. That's what we're trying to show you. That's what we're trying to prove to you. Get you to Romans 28, 15. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You know the audience right now, who is Moses talking to? Who is Moses talking to at that time? Was he talking to the whole world? No, right? Oh. What you think? Just give me your honest, you know what I'm saying? We're not up here trying to, I'm not trying to show you know you don't know nothing. So, who was the most talking to at that time? Okay, get the whole step, yeah, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. No, to the whole world. Unto all Israel. To everybody that want to read the Bible. Unto all Israel. So now we just heard a couple facts. The Lord doesn't deal with nobody how he deals with Israel. And these words that we are about to hear were directed at who? And Israel. Give me that 15. Read that. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. What's going to happen? That all these curses, all these what? All these curses. All these bad things going to do what? Shall come upon thee. They're going to come upon you as a nation, the Israelites, and do what else? And overtake thee. They're going to overtake us. How they overtake us? Hold that up. Hold that sign up. This is how it overtook us, bro. They came from West Africa. They came from Spain. They came all over the world to get a group of people that they knew were sent to serve this slavery. Right. The Lord said that these bad things will happen to us. Now you might say, well, no, nah, that's just, it's not talking about that. That's, that's what you could possibly say, right? But watch this. Read that. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So now let me ask you a question. Are black people blessed or cursed in Detroit? Do, do nothing but good things happen to people in Detroit or nothing but bad things happen? For the most part. Things bad, right? Why? Because the Lord said what? Curse shall thou be in the city. The Lord said bad things were going to happen to you in the city. Right, Rick? And cursed shall thou be in the field. So now, where did bad things happen to us as a people in a field? Cotton fields, tobacco fields, strawberry fields, right. work fields. Right. The Lord said that bad things would happen to us in the city, in the country. You got to understand, the things that we went through are to wake us up. I was the same way. I didn't believe the Bible. But once I heard the Bible make sense, once I saw myself in it, once I saw my brother in it, I was activated. That's right. I was activated. We sleep in God upon this earth, brother. That's, That's right. what you don't understand. So I get it when you say you got questions. There's nothing wrong with that. Why? Because if you go up in the church, they're going to say, ah, but just pray to the Lord. Right. Pray to Jesus. He'll show you one day. Right. He'll show you in the train. No. We're going to answer all of your questions. Hey. That way you ain't got no shadow of a doubt that you're the greatest thing walking this planet. Hey. Right. That way you ain't got no shadow of a doubt. It's time for me to change. Right. It's time for me to teach everybody else about this truth. Right. Why? Because I'm an Israelite. That's, That's right. right. That's why, bro. Bring it out. Read verse 
68, because we got to get right to the point. I want to hit my brother with points. The Lord said that bad things will happen to this nation of people, bro. Let me ask you this. What's your name again? I want to call you Big Man. Sean. How did we get here to America from West Africa? What was our form of transportation? So we had people that was already here, but I'm talking about the big boat that we read about in history. How did we get here? On the boat, right? What type of boat, though? Was it a cruise ship? Was it a Royal Caribbean? A wooden boat? A slave boat? Exactly. Watch this, bro. Read that. Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Read it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Uh-oh. There go that Egypt. Now, if you know anything about history, you know that they have books where they were trying to figure out who were the Afri African Americans in history, in ancient times. When they did that, guess what? They found our scores in Egypt. But guess what we was doing? We were slaves. The same way we are here. We were the serving class. Why? Because the Lord told us that Egypt would mean something. The Bible answered itself, bro. Watch this. How you think they got all the damn pyramids? Read that. Exodus 22. Watch this, bro. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 2. Yeah. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of what? House of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt means what in the Bible? Bondage. Bound. Somebody tie you up, hang you up you when they want to, make you work whenever they want to, what would you be to them? A slave. That's the Lord right. said that Egypt means slavery. That's in the right. Bible. That's what it means, bro. That's why they, get, get, hold that right quick. Hold that to yeah, Get Exodus 1. I'm going to show you what we were doing in Egypt, bro. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. I'm going to show you what, what I want. Verse 9? Verse 9. I want verse 9. Watch this. Watch what we were doing in Egypt, bro. Yeah. The book of Exodus, chapter 1 and verse 9. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it shall come to pass that when they fall out of any... I'm sorry. Say again. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass that when they fall out any war, they join themselves unto our enemies. So now they was worried about us. They were shook. The same way that they do right now. Why do you think the census is an operating thing inside of the hood? Because they're trying to figure out exactly how many of them is it. Egypt, they knew that. They said, listen, these people are fruitful. They have the babies all over the place. They got the best land. Remember, when we went into Egypt, Joseph, our forefather Joseph, was pretty much ruling Egypt. So he was able to give us the best of the land. So now you got people that are growing mighty. We big in population. We got all type of talent. And we got the best land. We damn near taking their country over. So a new king came in that didn't know Joseph. He said, hey, let's deal wisely with them. Let's start creating things to trap them up. To not let them be as fruitful. To not let them be as productive. Read. Lest they multiply, and it shall come to pass. When they fall out any war, they join also unto our enemies. He said, man, if we ever go to war, and they decide to join the other side, we finish. That's what they said. So they said, you know what, we got to be a wise with them. Read that. Watch what happened. And fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. So now, this is where the process started of getting us up out of Egypt. Read that. Therefore, they did set over them as masters. What type of masters? As masters. Slave masters. They start setting up slave masters over time. 
remember, we didn't go into Egypt slaves, but over time they turned, they dealt wisely with us, and they turned us into slaves. Why? Because all they got to do is lower the wages, up the prices on things, and now before you know it, you working just to, just to live. And what do we have right now? We working just to live. That's how we know we're in slavery to this day, brother. Keep reading. Watch this. Therefore, they did set over them past masters see what they did, to afflict them uh -huh. and, and their burdens, uh -huh. with their burdens. Uh -huh. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities. They built what? Treasure cities. Uh -huh. Pipe Pitham and Ramses. That's the valley of the king. Pitham and Ramses. That's the valley of the king. Now you, like I said, I understand where you're coming from when you think you Egyptian or you come from Egypt. But watch what the Lord said. Give me Exodus 11 and 7. So we show you, bro, the history. Egypt was our slavery. It's the same way this, this is our slavery. Egypt was our slavery, bro. We was not ruling. We was not a part of that. So why would I go by a philosophy by the same people that's my slave man? That's like us going by Christianity right now. Right. It would be the same thing if you were to follow the Egyptians and their ways and their culture and their philosophy. No, we got our own philosophy. Right. That's what we're trying to show you. We hired them. Watch what the Lord said. The difference is with us and them. Right. Read that. Exodus chapter 11 and verse 7. Yeah. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue Read. against man or beast. So these people can't speak against our man or our beast. Our dogs, cats, fish, whatever, right? Read that. That ye may know how that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So the Lord said he put a difference between the Egyptians and the Israelites. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still trying to figure out how to easy land you didn't have to carry out more to the fire. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show, show you. Get uh, where the Donovan at. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show, show, show you because that's a good question. We can deal with, that's why we deal with the Bible and we deal with books that back up what the Bible says. Watch this. Watch this, bro. Now, because what was the, uh, Bible written in. You got it? Get that. Brother. Read that. This is the Solomon Compact Bible Dictionary. Bible. King James Version. He authorized a, a new translation of the Bible to replace the Bishop's Bible. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. Now remember, those Greeks were Israelites, but they were living like Greeks. So it was the same people, but they were living different lifestyles and they knew both of the languages, Greeks. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. No other words. The best Hebrew and Greek scholars. No, a conspiracy theory. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. 47 of the best. We're talking some of the wise men, wisest men when it comes to literating words, when it comes to things of that nature. Read that. Of the day were divided into six groups. Three for the Old Testament, two for the New, and one for the Apocrypha. Now the Apocrypha got took out of the Bible by the Protestant church. What they did is in the early 1700s, they took the Apocrypha and they said it's not canon. Now how can you decide what's canon and what's not? That shows you the pride of these people that rule us until this day. Why? Because it, 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 it takes out the confusion that sometimes people can be led to when they're not getting the full story. Right. The Old Testament, New Testament, but then you have the Apocrypha. Why? Because you have when we was enslaved by Egypt, right. when we were slavery in Assyria, right. when we were slaves in Babylon, right. then you got slaves when we was in Persia and Mede, right. and then it skips all the way to Roman. So the Roman captivity was Christ. So now when you hear Christ say things like, there's neither Jew nor Greek, you're confused. Why? Because what happened to where they even mention the Greek? The Apocrypha mentions the Greeks. We were the Greeks. That's what we don't understand and know. So now when we read this Bible, we think that this Bible is international when it's exclusive. Right? Yes, right. You gotta have a special membership to be a part of this. Yes, yes, right. Right. Period. VIP. Right. Right? right? Read that. Two of the groups met at Oxford. And what? Oxford. Do you know about Oxford University? To this day, some of the smartest, wisest men 
to come out of Oxford until huh? this day. This book, the, the Apocrypha, if you go buy it, it was published by Oxford. Showing you that it's confusion when they take these books out, bro. So you gotta understand that. You see what I'm saying? Doing this slavery time. How did get, uh, anybody know two languages? Uh, uh, get that. Give me that in uh, Acts 27. What's that? Ain't that what I want? Acts 27? Yeah, well, Paul, watch this. Cause you just asked him, you said, how can somebody be speaking two languages and they were slaves, right? I'm going to show you something about Paul, what made Paul so special. Read that. Book of Acts, chapter 22, verse 26. Bring it out. When the centurion heard that he went and told the chief captain, saying, take heed what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. This man is a what? Is a Roman. Go ahead. Then the chief captain came and said unto him, Tell me, art thou a Roman? He said, tell me, art thou a Roman? Now, why would he be asking somebody that? Let's see why. Read that. He said, yea. And the chief captain answered, with a great sum, obtained I this freedom. Uh -huh. And Paul said, but I was freeborn. He said, I was freeborn. The same way we freeborn. When you born in America, you had the ability to go to any other country. Right, because we can take up residence in any one of these countries because we're freeborn. But I'm going to show you the difference. Get uh, Romans 11. Get Romans 11. So now, he just acknowledged I'm a Roman, right? So if you're a Roman and you call yourself a Roman, you would know how to speak what? Their language, right? Watch this. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 1. Yeah. I say then. Had God cast away his people? Because a lot of people teach that right now, bro. They teach that God cast away his special people. We're not the chosen people no more, right, Reed? God forbid, mm -hmm. for I also am an Israelite. So wait a minute. We just heard where Paul said he was a Roman. Then we heard where Paul said he's an Israelite. Yes, Tell you that he had what? He was bilingual. Yes. He knew multiple languages. Why? Because the Lord told us this. Give me Isaiah 28. The Lord gave us instructions. He told us certain things will come upon us and we will have to learn a different language. Watch this. I'm going to show you why the Bible got translated. Read that. Book of Isaiah, chapter 28 and verse 10. Read that. For precept must be upon precept. Uh -huh. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line. Verse 9. Who? Shall he teach knowledge? So not a question being posed. Who is God going to get an understanding to? Who is God going to make things clear to? Right. Read that. And who shall he make to understand doctrine? Who is going to understand the correct way to apply the Bible? Read. Them that are weaned from the milk. Them that start with the basics, the commandments. Go ahead. And drawn from the breast. And eventually they study the whole Bible. Read. For precept must be upon precept. Now he's letting you know a precept is a law in the Bible. He says one precept must be upon a precept, meaning you can't take one scripture and isolate it. You have to have one scripture, take another scripture, and make it make sense with another scripture. Read. Precept upon precept. You have to keep doing that repetitiously. That's how you're going to learn, repetition, right, Read. Line upon line. Now you might have something in the Old Testament. Go ahead. Line upon line. Now you might have something in the Apocrypha, right, Read. Here a little. Old Testament. And there a little. New Testament, why? For which stammering lips. With a different way of saying words. And another tongue. And with another language, what's going to happen? Will he speak to this people? You're going to find out you're the chosen people of God. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.